Hi drummers, Gary Williams here, your drum set mastermind and creator of the drum set artistry mastermind group. Good morning to you all. We are over 1900 members in this group, so that's fantastic. And it's growing every day. Lots of great exchanges going on. In this brief video, I want to talk about drum lesson misconceptions. I'll call it that. Recently in the group, somebody commented that they were looking for a private instructor, but they were concerned that the instructor would tell them to forget everything they know and just try to teach them what they know, you know, what the instructor knows. And I don't think that's actually an accurate depiction of what goes on in most instances when you take a drum lesson. It sounds like this person maybe never had lessons, and so they're kind of concerned with a rumor or maybe They've talked to another drummer that had a very overbearing drum teacher that really believed that what the drum teacher thought was true was you know, the golden rule for the student. This is an art form. In art, it's about creativity and self-expression. Everybody's got a different approach to the instrument, different tastes in music, different goals in terms of how they want to develop their drumming skills. So it's really best for an instructor to be sensitive to that. And so I'm going to share with you a brief story that happened to me to give you kind of an overview perspective of my philosophy on teaching. When I went back to graduate school in the early 90s, I took this class called Percussion Pedagogy, and it's a class about teaching percussion. That's what the word pedagogy means, the teaching of. And the instructor came from the Eastman School of Music and studied with a famous teacher named John Beck, who was Steve Gadd's teacher. But he was primarily a classical percussionist, and he had some very strong opinions, which I disagreed with in terms of teaching. In fact, he had myself and the other student in this class read an article, and it was by a pianist who believed in the philosophy of the piano student coming in and just relinquishing any opinions, basically being an open vessel to be taught whatever it is that the director or the teacher thought that the student should learn. And so the other student commented on it. I can't remember what he said. And when it came back to ask my opinion, I said, I think this is one of the most dysfunctional articles I've read. <laughs> it kind of shocked him. But I really disagree strongly with that opinion. Uh, as I said earlier, we all have our own unique personalities, <clears throat> own unique goals with our drumming, the kind of music we want to learn how to play, and how far we want to take our drumming. So me as an instructor, I'm always very sensitive to making sure that the student realizes that they don't really have bad habits. They have habits that brought them to where they are in their playing skills in present time. But then if they want to take the skyscraper taller in terms of skill level, I just show them how to take what they've already played and take it up a notch and maybe even a few notches. So I always focus on building upon what the student has already developed and I always like to hear about the kind of music they're interested in because that's going to uh, shape the direction of what kinds of things that I feel would be beneficial for them to learn, but always checking in to make sure that what we're doing is in line with their personal goals. So my favorite statement when I go out and do all these mini clinics in public schools was, have you ever had a teacher come up to you and say, what would you like to learn and how can I help you learn it? And that's always been my philosophy. So if you'd like to learn something on the drums, and you're curious about what a drum lesson is like, then private message me, because I can definitely help you and give you the same results that I give all my other clients, and that is to help them improve in the way they want to improve and have more fun playing the drums. So that was my message in this video today. So I hope you guys have a great day. As I always like to say, stay nice to yourself, continue practicing, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.